Hi, my name is Judy Mosley. I am a recent graduate of Code Louisville's front-end web development. My project showcases a house that's for sale. Let's take a look. My client requested a site that was clean but delightful. Um, I've known this client for many years and I know her tastes. Um, I know who she is essentially so it was it was my my joy to to showcase her house that she's selling currently um, the color palette comes from a piece of art that is hanging in her house and so that was the inspiration of my design and also to reflect the textures and the style that she prefers um, she also loves the Victorian era, era and I wanted to bring that out as well. So this is the index.html. Um, I wanted it to be a site that um, just felt welcoming, that felt like you wanted to be there, you wanted to step into. So the theme being your home. Um, so you click on that and that is the doorway to the rest of the site. Um, this is her house that's for sale. Um, this is the about page that gives a description of her house. It's actually two houses on a piece of land. Um, I've been there myself many times and it's delightful. Um, just the many things that it has to offer. So, um, yeah, let's continue checking it out. So I have an about page, I have a contact page. Um, these are from Font Awesome and I use those, I utilize those um, into the piece. Um, the, the phone numbers are working. You, when you click on the email it links directly to the email so you can contact them as soon as possible. Um, there's a legal page basically describing that um, this site is not intended to, to, it's, it's a guide. This site is a guide, um, but um, to, if you really want to make a solid decision, you need to contact the owners. Um, my slideshow is a light box that uses jQuery. Something that I learned quickly is that what appears wonderful in one browser may not appear the same in other browsers. So um, I made sure that all that that it worked with every browser as far as Firefox, Safari, and Chrome. So as you click on a picture, um, an image pops up with a light behind it. I wanted, I definitely wanted to showcase the word light box and um, so I put a light behind it um, and a brief description of the photo so that way you have some idea of what you're looking at. Um, this was used using a bit of jQuery and all of these photographs are my own. I enjoy photography and so it was it was fun for me to enter her space um, and to showcase the things that she loves and what's so fabulous about her house. Um, and in the light box you can click outside of it and it it doesn't it doesn't lead you to another page. It you stay on the page. Um, another fabulous thing about the slideshow is that it is responsive. So as it becomes smaller, um, you can still see the pictures, but I chose not to use the light box um, simply because it felt too distracting and um, the centering wasn't quite working for me. So, so I removed the light box, um, and as you can see with the different views, the site changes itself. So, and the same 
I did the same responsiveness throughout the site that as you change its view um, like for instance in the about page the picture goes away because I felt again um, the picture too too much all you need are the words so so that is my site um, the code I used the code um, primarily in brackets but also sublime um, I wrote the code using brackets um, because at times I just couldn't quite see exactly what was being registered so I used brackets but I also use sublime so this is the about page um, in order to comply with best practices the the scripts are on the bottom which is mainly in slideshow and there's all the images and the scripture on the bottom to to ensure a faster upload for users um, the CSS I split into separate files so there's a main CSS which is the basics of of the pages um, a responsive CSS which that's where I put my media queries and just very specific things that I wanted to focus on um, and to to um, to work on to work on the the details of my slideshow and my overlay and then the style which that's that's the colors that's um, that's where, where where most of the the styles and positioning happen um this is my JavaScript. This is this is my app.js. And it's just a very basic light box. The fun thing about Treehouse is that as I went through the course, I would um, a course would would come along and this is actually comes straight from the course. And so I used it to to showcase my website and my light box to to enhance the photos and give the user a more um, a more functional but clean way to view the, the images. Yeah. So this is this is my project, and it was so much fun to do. Um, it's, it was a delight to spend time with my client and to get to know her further and to, to show off what she is ready to offer. So you, all of these files are on GitHub and you can find the code and you can find these files on J Mosley, M-O-S-L-E-Y, five, the number five, dot github dot io thank you thank you for watching the next steps for my project include minifying the code for optimization my hope is to enter the job market with the current skills that i have and to strengthen them and develop them further my name is judy mosley thank you so much